a big week at Leeds. Your best mate, Sir Kev, back at the club, return of the king, and Jimmy Lowe's in as number one head coach. Are you happy? Are you a bit sad to see Bry go? But a new era starting at Leeds. As I said last week, I wasn't happy about the hole in the first place, but just really quickly to put it into context, I got asked by a lot of community coaches last week who come over from Belgium and France and yeah. all over Europe, um, a Q&A, I did the Q&A, and they asked me, how's the team dealt in the past with a transition or a changing coach? And it was a great question, and I'd never really thought about it before. But I says to him, and my answer was that we never really saw it as a challenge or a, a transition because it always revolved around Kev Sinfield anyway. It always yeah. kept the culture in order. So to put him back in at a time when we've got a new group of, of young people coming through, to have Kev to install what they need into them at this moment is, is absolutely fantastic. Grateful we'll start with yourself as well. Uh, you've played at Leeds with Jonesy. Um, you know Kev really well. Do you see it as a masterstroke by Gary Everton? Because he's brought him back and he's also relinquished some of his duties. So Kev's going to be looking after player retention, player recruitment. Is this a masterstroke by the Leeds club? Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, you know, he's through and through Leeds, Kev. Um, you know, he's a legend of the club. Um, it's, you know, it's win-win for the club. You know, he's going to motivate the players there. He's played with a lot of them. Um, you know, I think I think Gary's done you know a great deal there, and uh, you must be happy to that because after the result this week, and won't talk about it too much, but Kev said straight away changes need to be made, so you're expecting some swift uh, changes, maybe some maybe some new personnel coming in well, for the, maybe these eights because it's not looking good. I think the uh, the the changes probably need to be more long term, yeah. a long term vision, and you've got to be careful not to damage the short-term vision. Uh, that change could be, well be me, could be me. Similar, that, might, that, that might be me, isn't it? Yeah. And the problem, Goes into Kev's well, office. The, be <laughs> well, the beautiful thing about Kev is that he is, you'll know Griff, he's got great f friends and he's a really honest, genuine guy, but he's ruthless at work, is which is what you need from a great leader. And um, you know, it might come that, say, Jonesy, we need some younger, fresh legs out there. And that, that might come about, but... You said, well, look at my game scores, Kev. <laughs> yeah. Well, that might go out into the two now as well. Yeah. So you never know. It's, uh, it's a bit of a turmoil type of situation, but we'll, we'll get there. We always come out. I saw a great quote this week from Carl Jung. I was reading a book, and uh, the quote is, for a tree to reach into heaven, its roots must first reach into hell. So like it's, this, it's, it's, it's this idea that... That's deep. And, and you the guys will know it. The rugby league, a gladiatorial sport, it's full of pain, adversity, pressure from fans, wins, losses. And to get to those those high points, I think you've got to go through a bit of a, a yeah. negative process and uh, we're just in that cycle again.